and welcome back to another episode of Behind the Beacon. I'm your host, Haley Dutton. Fresh off their best start in program history, number 10 UMass Boston's men's ice hockey team hosted their first annual alumni game since the 2011-2012 season Saturday. The 21-man roster ranged from 1969 Boston State College graduate Wayne Starkey to 2014 graduate Travis Daniel. After the game, we were able to catch up with some of the players to talk about the success of this year's team and the significance of playing with other alums. A feeling of camaraderie, as you said, just to see everyone here played on UMass Boston's hockey team at one point over the last 20, 30 years. Uh, we go back to when this rink just uh, first opened. We, we literally sat here and watched the ice freeze the first time and uh, played on it. And it just, it just started a great tradition and uh, it hasn't been better. And, and the, con the, the uh, skill level just keeps getting better, getting better and better. And it's great to see. To see it expand, wearing the old, sh the new shirt gives me a whole new feeling of belonging to a big new school. Uh, Boston State had about two buildings. This place is an unbelievable campus. To be part of this is a big, big deal. I really appreciate being invited. You know, it's a it's a pretty huge honor to be able to get uh, some of the guys from Boston State and guys from UMass Boston, newer guys and older guys, to bridge that gap between the two schools and and to really indulge in the rich history that the the program has to offer. Um, you know, with the 1981-82 championship uh, up until, you know, right now where we're competing every year for ECAC uh, East Championship, you know, so it's a, it's a huge honor to have everybody back together and kind of meet guys from future, uh, past and present. Um, I remember my sophomore year seeing this game being played. I mean, you know, hoping that w when we got to this point that we could kind of get out here and have some fun, meet some of the older guys and um, just kind of strap back on with five or six of us that we all played with together. Um, you know, it's once a once a year type thing, and and um, it's just it's a lot of fun. Yeah, really impressive. You know, like Keith said, uh, we were like little kids when the rink first opened, all looking over the edge, watching the ice, couldn't wait to get on it. We used to play games at 10:30 at Boston Arena against Bunker Community College, Bunker Hill Community College, and, and would lose too. So, I mean, the skill level now, what Coach Pete has done here, is really awesome. Makes us all very very proud, you know, to, to be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, it really has evolved in a sense that the type of kind of players that are brought in now, um, guys like me, Jimmy, um, the 13 guys that were my senior class, we're all just kind of, um, coach used to say, you know, sweatpants type of guys. I mean, now they're very skilled guys. Um, they move the puck so well, and it's just the, the type of player that's brought in here now. It really built a culture where, you know, those top-notch recruits, they really want to come here and, and make a difference. It's awesome because we, you know, in a small way, I think we all feel a part of that. We all want to see the name do well, the Beacons go forward, and uh, so it, I think it, their success uh, shines a good light on all of us. The men's ice hockey team went on to earn a 6-1 victory over Skidmore College Saturday afternoon in front of the alums, improving to a program best 6-0. UMass Boston will be back in action this weekend when they travel to Wesleyan University and Trinity College. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Haley Dutton.